Crassula capitella campfire, very gutta. This is a newly purchased plant. When I say newly purchased, it's already about three weeks old in my care. And it was growing under my 50% UV shade cloth area. And now I put it here where it's protected or will be protected from the frost or else the frost is going to kill that one. I have this speckled aloe in this, what I call this, a uh, pretty pot. And it's sitting up in my covered safe area <laughs> where it's not supposed to be and I just forgot to put it out. I put it out here because these Kalankoe lady fingers and also my Portolacaria afra here, beautiful beautiful variegated one that's actually showing two types of variegation so it's sort of reverted but it's still variegated look at that it's beautiful it's enjoying the sun she's out here but forecast frost for tomorrow morning so the 12th of april between four to seven o'clock we're gonna hit, hit zero to minus one we're gonna hit minus one which is equivalent to 32 f this, this one i have to bring inside because it's too pretty to live here because even if i leave that um, if I, even if I put that somewhere a bit secure, that's still gonna get hit with the frost. Now this Grasula strayi can stay here. Look how beautiful that is, the color. Oh my goodness. Like when the sun, especially when the light hits it. And uh, this Grasula, I'm not sure whether you're Gollum or Lady's Fingers or... It's time to bring my babies in! I have to survey my plant. Oh, my poor Sidon uh, Buro stale. Look at that. I've been neglecting neglecting that one. But then this one, uh, you have to get off there. I don't want you damaged. Hang on. This, because it still gets a little bit, although it's protected. Look, it's got a roof above it. I don't want it to suffer the frost. And also, because I'm putting it somewhere, so that's about... A one two meters away from the edge and okay so I have to do a lot of moving things around but anyway I'll just put you here for now but don't drop please okay stay stay <laughs> okay so this one now what are you Zoro Zoro I actually secure it so it came from the garden and I put it out here I actually gave it some water gave it some soaking and now I'm putting it in the safe area. Now this graviolens, this Peperomia graviolens, this is the first time I'm gonna leave my mother plant over here. Should I leave it there or should I bring it inside? I think I might have to bring it inside because it's a pity to just ruin the whole thing here. Now this one as well, this has been growing here dry. This is a denium or desert rose that I bought uh, a couple of years ago now. So it has seen uh, one or two winters now. I'm hopeless. Anyway, I can't remember now, but at, at least one winter. But I brought this in last year, brought this inside the house. My Senecious Caposis is only a newly purchased one. I didn't even get a chance to do a plant haul video for you. But anyway, so this one as well, they're fine. Grasula 1941. This actually goes all purple. Or see that color there? That one there. See that color there? The whole plant goes that color if you expose that to the sun. But since it's only a new one, look at the name. Grasula 1941 DC 93. December 93. I don't understand. So it's a 1941 Grasula but acquired in 93 maybe so that's the label it came with when i got it from when i bought it agave atenuara so this has seen about three winters already but i i don't put it here even because it's still sort of fairly open i put that one right at the back there where my other euphobias are the grasula ovata up the top there 
those two are cuttings from my mother plant that is secure over here oh this one's i forgot my oh there's so many things to do oh i wish i have two or three or four ten of me <laughs> but anyway so this one is my mother plant and which reminds me now oh my goodness okay too many things to do okay oh this one already this has to go in so it's going to be a busy day oh my goodness this this euphobia here I could leave that there for say tomorrow minus one that's all right because after that we're gonna get some good weather again but that will well it will suffer from the frost so I don't know I'm gonna wing it and see how it goes this year because I've already had this for like three years and I keep bringing it inside the house and taking it out and if it dies it dies but anyway but the other one the purple one which is this one here I have to bring this inside I don't want you to die so that's already uh, burnt and but anyway that's gonna die from the frost this Atenuara I don't know should I wing it no I can't because this came from the coast this was given to me by Jem my friend Jem but apparently came from I think her sister or something like that down the coast but I can't leave it out there so I have to just put it here for now I'll leave you there for now now this baby's here this <laughs> this one is fine uh, this Setos oh my goodness I think Setorum Victor I uh, said Oliver sorry so my brain is not with me I haven't had my coffee I only have a couple of sip but anyway this set Oliver sorry this set Oliver can stay here stay but this beautiful Crassula we have to bring oopsie we have to bring this one inside oh my goodness look at the color okay so this I'm even do I no I'm gonna leave it here okay we're gonna leave it in my 50 zone area and see how you go so i've been trying to grow a really well acclimatized they suffer from the frost the crassula ovara i'm trying to grow something that will survive the frost and this sidowski is so gorgeous oh my god they're actually grown bigger look at that oh look and the color it's amazing oh which reminds me I have to check on this small one of these oh my goodness this one has to be planted I have to bring this in inside this is my Frank Reynold cuttings that I've taken look at the roots on those ones and oh this one is red edge see the red edge this was cut so this was cut from the mummy plant not pulled off so the end of it is still pretty fresh so the roots has only grown to the bottom there so I think I've done a video of a colorata yes that's right the other day <laughs> and I shown cutting a colorata and this is one good example of when you cut it from say halfway instead of cutting it or pulling it off the mother plant so if you have nodes more nodes more roots I've got another Frank Reynolds here which is the same thing so this one now I pull it off from the node so this one look baby okay so that's a tiny uh, that's not a Colorado that's a Frank Reynolds as well so the ones with the roots that's being attacked by the bird just a bird attacked my plants the other day anyway so all of them look so the mature plant root better than the younger one so this one has been cut uh, also or pulled off from the mother plant or not cut and look so all the nodes are growing roots not all but a lot of them okay so even right up the top so that's also important to remove some of the leaves in the bottom because that's where the roots is going to form now this one now see so this one the roots are right in the bottom so you're meant to have the roots growing up the top here that's why if say for example if I've cut this on halfway here that will just rot and you only have this one and that 
top there to be dependent on for the roots to grow out. And that's why if you haven't got any node, a lot of uh, times people who buy or sell succulents that doesn't have any nodes, it's sort of still fresh like a baby, like satellite. I call this satellite plants because they sort of shoot up. Okay, like this ones. This ones is actually, that's, that will have roots. This is my uh, Vashon. These babies here, still I did not remove them because I want to give them as much chance as possible to grow if i remove them say this year have i removed them and then now winter's coming then they're just gonna sleep and not gonna have roots until springtime which is a long time so that's like four and a half months five months for them before it grows roots so there's no point pulling out your plants or harvesting it when it's at those times but if you live in somewhere in the tropics then you can basically harvest your succulents anytime because they prefer the heat or the warmth so it doesn't really matter so we in the tropics you can harvest it and if it's the rainy season just put it somewhere dry to root up that's why don't put it in soil so people who live in the tropics oh look I'm scolding I'm sorry I'm not scolding me <laughs> But if you put it in soil and you live in the tropics, there's high humidity in the air. There's too much moisture in the air. And then plus you put it in the soil, you're just like a double whammy. You're introducing your plant or your succulents into double moisture. And that's why they rot and die. So anyway, these ones, these are my newly acquired babies here. That's a lot of plants. I bought, I recently bought about 110 different plants. So, but I have to do a plant whole video sometime today before they get hit by the frost. So I don't know which one's going to be frost hardy because they're not frost hardy yet. Because I bought them from somewhere, different people, and they grow them in protected zones or protected area. Anyway, oh, look, I just... Sarahimi Lilasina cross Sarahimi Bhutan. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave you there. Are you gonna get hit by the force? I'll just move this one here. Just so the top part doesn't hit my uh super bum. My super bum and the bird. Look what the bird just pecked it. One, two, three, four. Just peck, 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 peck. Naughty bird. And this one chew it up. My Martin's hybrid. Look at that. Oh, he just attack the whole tip of the plant. This is a variegated one as well. So anyway. Oh sorry, this is a water lily. I forgot now. I forgot my plants. This is a water lily. I should put a label on that one. And my saber wolf is coloring up. Are you gonna be frost hardy? We will see. This one will stay here. My Portulaca. Oleracea and the other one of these I already put upstairs inside the house. So all of these cacti here would be good. My Ming thing. Look, my Ming thing, I haven't even potted it up. I kept forgetting. What's wrong with me? 